Two identical rollers, each of weight 50 Newton. So both of these have 50 Newton weight, are supported by an inclined plane. This one is inclined plane and this one is vertical plane. Find the reaction at the point A, B, C. We have to find out reaction at this point, reaction at this point and reaction at this point. And we have the contact between this. So we have one more reaction at this point. Let label this point equals to D point. This reaction, is it perpendicular? This reaction is perpendicular to this. This reaction is also perpendicular to this. Let call this reaction equals to NB. Let call this reaction equals to NA. Let call this reaction equals to NC. So these are contact reactions. This angle is 90. So this angle equals to 60. This angle is 90. So this angle equals to 60. This line which is passing through C1 and C2 is this line will be parallel to this line. This line C1, C2 is it parallel to this line because it has equal height and therefore what is the angle made by this line is the same angle is made by this line. So this angle equals to what? 30. This one is 30 so this one is also 30. Line in the center to center line makes an angle of 30. So this one is 30. So alternate angle is also 30. NC will act on this cylinder that is a C1 cylinder. So show NC like this. NB will pass through center of cylinder. So this one is NC and this is NB. So this one is NC this one is NB and this NB makes an angle of 30, 60. This one is also 60. This cylinder, this cylinder, will it push this cylinder in this direction? This cylinder will push it in this direction. This one is action and this one is reaction. This reaction occurs at point D, so we call this NT, vertically downward and the weight will act vertically downward. So this one is 50 Newton. This one is also 50 Newton. Okay, check the coordinate axis here. This one is your x axis and this one is your y axis. We will construct this x y axis here. This one is my point C2. The weight is acting downward. So we will show the weight downward. Weight is acting downward. That equals to 50 Newton. ND will act in the third quadrant. This ND will act in the third quadrant. And what we'll do, we'll pass this force on the same center of line of action, like this. Line of action is changed, so this force become outward. What is the angle made by this ND with uh, horizontal? Is it 30? So this also equals to 30, is ND. We have one more force equals to NA. Is this force in the fourth quadrant? So this force in fourth quadrant. Can we shift this force along this line of action? So we can shift this force along line of action. So this force equals to Na. And what is the angle made by Na with horizontal? Is 60. We have three forces. So can we apply Lamy to this? So we'll apply Lamy to this. What is the angle between this force and this force is 60 plus 90, 150. The angle between this force, 120. Angle always 360 minus sum of other two angle. So this is 270. 90 plus 120, 210 plus 150 is 360. Okay, let's apply Lamy's theorem. To apply Lamy's theorem, we have to apply 50 Newton. Now when you write 50 Newton, you have to write down angle between Na and Nd. What is the angle between Na and Nd? Sign 90. When you have to write down Nd, you have to write down angle between other two forces. Other two forces is 50 and Na. So angle is 150. When you are writing Na, 
you have to write down angle between ND and 50 that equals to 120. So this is the Lamy's theorem. So we get ND equals to 25. 23.3. Now consider FBD about C1. So to consider FBD about C1, construct first FBD. So this point is center of concurrency that is C1. Now transfer one by one forces to this one. First is you have to transfer weight that is W1. So this weight equals to 50 Newton. Then transfer this NC. Right now this NC is acting at this point. Correct. So transfer this force along this one. So that all forces will become outward forces. So this is your NC which is unknown. Now this force NB is in the fourth quadrant like this. Since this is an inward force, we will shift this force outward. So we will shift it like this. What is the angle made by this force with horizontal? 60. So this angle is 60. One more force is there that equals to ND. Is this force is in the first quadrant? And is it an inward force? This is the inward force. So we will change the line of action so that it will become the outward force like this. What is the angle made by this ND with horizontal? ND 30. So this angle equals to 30. Equals to ND. But write ND is the value of ND is 25. So we will write this value equals to 25. Figure is okay? Resolve all the forces as cos theta and sin theta. Once you do this, Fx is equals to what? NC. NC is positive. Then this NB cos 60 is negative. So this one is NB cos 60. Then this 25 cos 30 is negative. So this one is minus 25 cos 30. NC and NB. So I cannot solve this. So I will go to FY. Is this NB sin 60 is positive? So this one is NB sin 60. And this 50 Newton is downward. So this is minus 50. This 25 sin 30 is also downward. So this one is minus 25 sin 30. You can very well solve for NB. Check your value of NB. It will come out to be 72.16. Once you know this value, you put this value back here and you can solve for NC. And check value of NC equals to 57.73. Two spheres having weight 50 Newton and 80 Newton. 50 Newton and 80 Newton. Of radius equal to 10 cm and 20 cm. So we'll put the radius here. This one is our radius. And this one is our radius. So what is the radius of this one? C1. Uh, is it a 10 cm? So this one is 10 cm. And what is the radius of this one? Is 20 cm. So both are cm. Are piled in a cylindrical channel of 50 cm diameter. This is a cylindrical channel. And in this channel, we have a width. What is the diameter of this one? Is this diameter equal to 50 cm? So this diameter equal to 50 cm. Find the reactions to the wall and at the base of channel. You have to find out reaction at point A, at C and at B. First of all, you have to identify the reactions. Is this reaction is perpendicular to this? Because this is a normal reaction. Normal reaction is always perpendicular to plane. We have one more contact here, so we have normal reaction. And we have one more contact here, so we have a normal reaction. So we have three normal reactions, Na, Nb, and Nc. Then, the cylinder C1 and cylinder C2, they are in contact at this point equals to D. So we have one contact reaction. Today, that a contact reaction always act along the line joining the center. So what we do, we will make here one right angle triangle and we will try to find out what is the angle between this that equals to theta. Let call this point equals to E point. Let call this point equals to E point. To find out this angle theta, I must know what is the vertical distance C. To find out, <coughs> to find out this vertical distance C, I know that this distance is it same as 10? That is, this distance is it same as 10? 
and if I project this point downward then is this distance is same as 20 so this distance is same as 20 this is 10 this is 20 and this one is 50 so is the middle distance will be 50 minus 10 minus 20 so is this distance is 50. now do you know the distance c1e from this figure so distance c1e is it same as 20 so this one is 20 if the distance between c1 and c2 is same as r1 plus r2 this distance is it r1 plus r2 what is r1 plus r2 is 30 so can we find out angle theta so we have cos theta equals to adjacent 20 upon hypotenuse 30 so angle of theta equals to 48.19 what is the angle between center to center is it 48 point 19. The alternate angle also 48.19. Now, one by one, you have to shift. What is the weight of this one? 50. Normally, you show weight inside the cylinder, don't show outside the circle. So, what is this weight? This weight is 50, and this weight is 80. Then, show one by one reaction. NA will act on C1, so NA will act on C1, NB will act on C1, NB will act on C1, and NC will act on. C2. So show all reactions. Na. This reaction is Nb. This reaction is Nc. And then finally, is the top cylinder will push the bottom cylinder in downward direction. That is always true. So this one is action and this one is reaction. Now this action and reaction will take place along the line joining the center. Name this one D because we have shown this point equal to D. So, right. Consider FBD at C2. Consider axis is same as this coordinate axis. This W is acting downward. So show this force downward. That equal to 80 Newton. This NC is acting on the left hand side. Will you shift on this side? NC will shift on this side. So this is NC. Now this force is acting in the third quadrant. So will you shift in the first quadrant, opposite quadrant? This force is incoming force, so we'll shift it. Now how many forces we have? Three forces. And what is the angle between these two? Is it 48.19? Find out the angle between each force. What is the angle between ND and 80 Newton? This one is 90 plus this. 138.19. What is the angle between NC and 80 Newton? 90 can we calculate this angle is this angle is 180 minus 48.19 131.81 now can we apply lemmy to this according to lemmy is 80 newton force is proportional to sine of the angle between other two forces other two forces nd and uh, nc what is the angle between nd and nc 131.81 when you want to write down for ND, you should write the angle between other two force. Other two force is NC and AT, that is 90. And when you want to write down for NC, you should write down angle between ND and AT, that is 138. Equation simultaneously and find the value of ND and value of NC. First you try for this and then you try for first term and third term. Check your ND is 107.33. Check your NC equals to 71.55. Now write. Consider FBD at C1. Consider FBD at C1. So we have axis system like this. So you draw a separate axis system at this point. Our C1 right now here. So this is FBD at C1. Very first thing is that weight is acting downward. So show the weight downward that equals to 50 Newton. E, is it inward force and is inward like this one. So will it become outward force here. So this one is NB. NA is horizontal. So is this force is NA right. And this force ND. So is this force ND is in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant here. Can we shift it in the third quadrant.
So it will shift to third quadrant. What is the angle made by this force with horizontal? Is 48.19. Now this force is ND. And what is the value of ND? We are just find out. 107.33. How many unknown in my figure? One is NA and one is NB. We cannot apply LME, but can we apply sigma FX and sigma FY? So first of all, we have to resolve this force. So resolve this force. One compound will be cos. Divide your page into two, two parts. In one part, you write down sigma FX equation. For equivalent system, sigma FX is zero. For static equilibrium, sigma FX is zero. And sigma FY is zero. This time, NA is positive and 107.33 is negative. So we can very well solve for Na. <coughs> it is 71.55. We go for sigma F5. Nv is positive. 50 is negative. Minus 50. Weight is negative. 107.3 is negative. So we can solve for Nv. Exactly 130. Is this fine? Now just remember one thing. How you can cross check your answer is correct or wrong. That I will justify. Your answer. Huh? Now see this complete figure. For this figure. For this figure. Is sigma fx is 0. For this figure sigma fx must equal to 0. So for this figure is na is a positive value. And is nc is negative value. So is na must equal to nc. Check your answer. What is NA? And what is NC? Are these answers are same? So you can cross check your answer. Step number two. For this figure, is sigma FI is zero? Now, is this force NB is positive force? NB is positive force. Is this 50 is negative force? And is this 80 is negative force? Check your answer of NV. Is it 130? Check your answer of NV. Is it 130?